guys, it's me, the Pixel Girl. Today is April 30th, 2020. And I know it's been probably about two weeks since I've had a video out. Sorry, I've been doing a bunch of things and unpacking, just like I said in the last episode. I've been unpacking and putting things away, and I finally did find the fabric that I need for the back of the Laughing Buddha quilt, so I should really get on that. Um, and I will, uh, so that's great. And I'd also like to talk about the fact that I've had a couple people donate fabric to me lately. So one morning I woke up and I had a message that just said, we've just cleared out the basin of all these things and if you would like some fabric then we have quite a bit if you would like it. And I said, yes, I absolutely would. So they brought by a whole bunch of really great already cut out flannel squares. Um, and a lot of them are very, very fun patterns and very useful. And I really look forward to throwing a couple of them into all of my quilts in the future, because I think I can get away with just a tiny little bit of flannel with the rest of my cotton. Pretty sure that that's going to work. You know, they're a little bit different in the thickness, but not different between stretchiness and all of that. So it's not trying to like stuff fleece in there. Just a little bit of flannel and then a little bit of cotton. I think that'll work. Not too worried about that. And then last week, somebody messaged me and she said, I could bring by some fabric if you'd like some because I have some and I'm not ever going to use it. So her name was Janet and thank you, Janet. I actually meant to write her back, but I never did. But she brought me a whole bunch of really great cotton fabric and she even brought me some bedding. That was really helpful. Thank you so much for that. That's so good. So that's been helping me because it's just part of all the organizing and unpacking and all of that stuff. So I'm just trying to get this room all straightened out and I'm getting closer, just bit by bit, slow progress is still progress, right? So that's been good. And then, cause I'm silly, I saw this pattern online for a crocheted cat couch and I thought this is really, 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 really cute. So then I said, well, I'm gonna make my own cat couch, but I'm not good at crocheting. So I'm not going to crochet it. I'm going to just use my whatever I have around here. So I ended up using the box that the people who gave me the fabric in flannel gave me because it came in a big cardboard box. So then I used that and then I stuffed it with my leftover quilting batting from like my leftover quilt. So just like tiny little things. Of, anyway, it doesn't matter. So I stuffed it full and then I took, um, my friend gave me some satin sheets. Sorry, Sonia. And I cut them up and I'm, I'm doing some things with that. But my cats fell in love with the satin sheets. They, they were just completely entranced by the whole thing. So that's what I used to finish off my cat couch. And here's my cat couch. Jewel really likes it. She's not quite sleeping in it, but she's not completely opposed. So hopefully that becomes a cat bed for her. It's really cute. It doesn't look a thing like the crocheted cat couch pattern. If you guys have ever made a crocheted cat couch, I would love to see pictures. Please share them with me. And that would be really, really good. And um, I'm still waiting for the quilt batting, but now I've got backup quilt batting. Thank you, Janet. Um, so I am really excited to make a couple of quilts next month for two of my winners in my Patreon. And I'm still going to finish off the Laughing Buddha quilt because there's no reason why I shouldn't do that. And at this point, I really should spend the next week working on quilting that and basting it and um, all of that. So I'll probably have another video with me basting this quilt coming up really soon, um, probably within the next couple of days because I would like to get ahead of this great curve that's going to be two pixel quilts that I'm going to be making in the month of May. So I'm excited to do it. I cannot wait to see who's going to win and what they're going to pick. It's going to be a great time. And if you are not in it yet, but you're still thinking about it, there's still time to get in. The next draw is on the 5th of May and you can subscribe to my Patreon at www.patreon.com slash H E Z E T T. That's me. And if you subscribe for just one dollar, I'll put your name on a list and then there will be a number and then the number goes into a bingo cage. And then on the fifth of the month, I take my bingo cage and I do a little spinny thing. And then whoever's number is on the list that I pull out, that's that's who I'm going to be making a pixel quilt for. So this month, since I didn't hear from Benjamin Coates at all, and technically he wasn't even um, signed up to win a pixel quilt and I tried to get a hold of him, but I didn't hear from him, then I'm just going to be doing two quilts for May because that just makes a lot of sense and I don't want you guys thinking that I'm just taking your money and skipping town or just taking your money and staying on lockdown and not doing anything because that is the opposite of the truth. I work quite hard for you guys and I love what I'm doing very much 
And I would love to see more people in my Patreon because there's still less than 100 people. There's less than 75 people. You know, so like for just a dollar a month, I think you guys can probably afford this. I know that I've got like 445 subscribers to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. That's awesome. But it would be nice if a few more of you were subscribed to my Patreon for the chance to get your own pixel quilt. I cover the shipping costs when I mail out the pixel quilt. So you guys don't have to cover that if you win. So don't feel like, oh, I don't, you know, I'll put the dollar in, but then if I win, then I can't afford it. You know, you could even just say, hey, send me whatever you want, make me a quilt, whatever. But if you have like a pixelated image that you would love to have quiltinated, I can do that, right? So I can turn your Minecraft thing into a quilt. I can turn your um, perler bead thing into a quilt. I could turn a tiny part of your cross stitch pattern into a quilt. That's what I'm doing. That's what I want to do. That's what Pixel Surprise is all about. And like now I have this extra fabric, so it's going to be even funner than it already was. So that's a very quick update. I'm going to let you guys go. Also, I've been gardening, so um, I'm hoping that some things come out of that pretty well. I've got some, I've got a giant pumpkin plant growing. I've got some squash happening. I've got um, romaine lettuce and I've got some Chinese onions coming up, but I think I'm growing some bok choy. And I'm growing a few other things. So um, hopefully my garden looks good soon. I've got a raised bed in the backyard. My father's building a cat enclosure for my cats. Things are crazy here. Lots of stuff is happening even though it looks like I'm not doing a thing at all. But I am. And I look really forward to working in May. Really hard. So I love you guys for all of your support. Thank you so much for being part of this. Um, you're all awesome. I hope you are staying calm and collected through this wonderful lockdown that we're still experiencing at the end of April and probably into May. I don't know when we're going to open everything up, but business as usual for Pixel Surprise and nothing is changing here. So I'll just be working extra hard instead of not at all, right? So thank you all so much for your support and your patience. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you. Have a great day, guys.